Hey, how you doing? Morning to you. Ryan J here with uh, a coffee and cream edition for you. So today, um, what lazy, lethargic, unmotivated? Are you feeling any of those? Any of those? If you're like me, there was a time, yes, I was lazy, lethargic, and unmotivated. Well, let me ask you, what would that be worth to you to switch that pattern in your life? So then all of a sudden you're motivated, you have energy, and you you're like active, you know, active for yourself, active for the people around you, for your friends, for your family, at the workplace. Is that worth, is that, what's that worth? Type it below in the comments. I'll tell you in a little bit how, how we're gonna like fix this, all right? So when it comes to lazy, lethargic, unmotivated, there's four things we got to look at here. Four things, all right? And that's dopamine. That's what's going into your tummy, your purpose. All right, so what's that? Three. Purpose and garbage and distraction and, you know, your why. All right, so let's talk about dopamine first. So dopamine is, let's put it into this example. So you're in Vegas or at a casino and you go up to one of the slot machines and you put in your quarter or whatever it is and you pull the handle and it gives you all these lights and like, woo, yay, oh my gosh. And you're feeling excited for that four seconds in time. And then it goes away. And then you're like, oh, that was cool for four seconds. Let me put another quarter in. All right, that's your brain reacting to the quick hit of dopamine. The quick hit, which, which is enjoyable for that four seconds. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Because the, the brain is actually kind of lazy. It likes the quick hit of dopamine. So cell phones are like this, sugar is like this, alcohol is like this. Um, you know, you can go on and on with the quick fixes of how your brain reacts to quick hits of enjoyment. But generally, the quick hits of enjoyment, you need to keep repeating the process for your brain to be stimulated. And generally, those quick hits aren't healthy for you. They're not healthy for you. Is sugar good for you? Um, I'd be willing to bet that nobody, nobody says sugar is good for you, except for if you're like um, a sugar producing company and that's what you do. You know, that's your business model. Those guys will tell you all day long, sugar is good for you. Casinos will tell you all day long, hey, thanks for being here. It's awesome to see you. Here's a buffet ticket for coming. You know, uh, checking your cell phone to see if you got any new messages or, oh my gosh, what's that red thing? You know, it's instant gratification that your brain is going for. Now, the hard things to do give you lasting dopamine kicks to the brain. So even though working out is hard or reading a book may be a challenge to you, but they're good for you. And after working out, you feel, oh my gosh, so much better. That's a lasting dopamine and it's been good for you. So be aware, be aware of what is triggering your good feelings 
and make adjustments according. Tommy, here's another thing. All right, let's, let's look at our body and compare it to a chemistry set. A chemistry set. All right, so uh, back in, back in, I don't know, seventh grade or whatever, uh, you were in science class and you had a Bunsen burner and you're supposed to put the right ingredients in and it boils to a certain level. I don't even know what the project was, but if you mix it wrong, you got smoke and flames and whatever, or if you mix it right, it's burning clean and you see the chemical reaction, your body's the same way. Your body's the same way. So you might be looking at your quick dopamine hit where you're going to binge watch some Netflix with a bag of Cheetos, which means uh, you're also getting that quick dopamine fix. But never ever has there been a point in time where after binge watching a whole bunch of whatever, uh, Tiger King or... Um, you name it, with a bag of Cheetos or a whole pizza in front of you, putting garbage in your mind and putting garbage in your belly, never ever have you been like, wow, that was awesome. I feel so good. So let's replace those with good habits and being self-aware that, yeah, it's going to be enjoyable for... 10 minutes, but then after that, I'm going to feel it more unmotivated, feel guilty for, oh man, why did I do that to myself? And the perform, the, think of food as fuel for your body, not something that you enjoy. Now with that mindset, switch and flip it's easier to see because you'll feel better. You'll, you'll smell better. Colors will be brighter. You'll be more self-aware. You'll be sharper. You'll be more focused. You'll have more energy. Um, versus a session of, uh, Netflix and pizzas and, uh, cream puffs, or maybe it's, uh, your favorite Baskin Robbins ice cream. It's never ever felt good. Let's move on to purpose. And, okay, moving on to purpose. If this, if you want, if you truly want to feel better and get rid of being lazy, lethargic, and unmotivated, what's that worth to you? Is it worth 300 bucks? Because if it is, get in the comments below, send me a DM, I'm going to hook you up with a program, I'll coach, teach, and train you along the way, we'll fix some of the mindset stuff, get you thinking clearer, and start seeing results. If that's worth 300 bucks to you, reach out. And I'm going to guarantee my results. And at the end of 10 days, if you are not a changed person, I'll gladly give you your money back. Gladly. Matter of fact, I'd feel guilty for not. Because I'm a firm believer in this. I believe this. I believe you can change. I believe in you more than you believe in yourself. All right, so... Let's get to the purpose. Um, well, when is enough of enough of being sick and tired of being sick and tired where you're going to actually uh, bring some discipline, some fortitude, and concentrate on like you and being more that you can be with your hopes, dreams, your goals? When is that? going to take precedent over whatever else you're doing. You should take care of yourself first. Take care of yourself first. If you don't take care of yourself, then there's no way you can help out your parents, 
uh, your brother, your sister, your family, your children. There's no way. No way. And if you can't help yourself to help your family, then you definitely aren't helping your neighbors or your community. Maybe there is something on the back burner with your goals where you've been like, yeah, I'll get to it someday. I'll get to it someday. Well, you know what? Someday usually turns into never. So you should actually just do yourself a favor and say, I will never put forth the effort of my goals that is important to me. So it's your purpose. Now, when your purpose is bigger, bigger, set, set big goals. Because then that's going to force you or provide more to motivation for you to achieve them. So have a purpose. Have a purpose. You know, find it. Dig deep. Matter of fact, I'll help you find your purpose. If you choose, if you choose that this is the right time for you. All right. And let's talk about garbage. Okay. Well, that could be a whole bunch of things. That could be uh, anything that's distracting you from your purpose. So an easy example is, uh, well, there's a whole bunch of easy examples in this time right now. You got the zombie apocalypse outbreak uh, pandemic. That could be a distraction taking you away from your purpose. You could uh, be focused on the election and what side is right and what kind of mayhem and garbage are they putting out. That's a distraction from your purpose. You could be, oh, easy one, Netflix, social media, those are all distractions, taking away time, focus, and energy from your purpose. Once you realize that it's all kind of designed that way, it's all kind of designed to like get your attention over here and not on yourself. You're going to be way more happy in your life. Way more happy in your life when you decide to put away the distractions because they're not serving you any purpose and to go full gusto on yourself. You're going to be way more happy and it's going to take work. But you know what? That work is going to build self-confidence. Uh, you'll start believing in yourself. And that translates into others believing in you. So that seems good. Uh, another thing is like the garbage thing of what you're actually ingesting for your caloric intake. Is your lunch um, filled with uh, greasy fried foods and a whole bunch of carbohydrates that like immediately after, 45 minutes after, you're like, oh my gosh, this is nappy nap time. Or is it cleaner fuel source where it's dark leafy green vegetables, maybe a handful of nuts, a whole bunch of water. Um, Put some cream in your cup, full of, full of good fats for your brain, plus it gives your stomach and gives your body the fuel it needs so that you're not feeling hungry. You're not going to have hunger cravings. Another good thing for hunger cravings is just drink more water, and I hope you're drinking a bunch of water. And the uh, real test to know, well, how much water do I drink? That's a good question. Here's the answer. Drink enough water that you pee clear all day long. Then you know you've had enough. Because the difference between what a 98-pound woman would drink as far as quantity of water and what a 6'3", 300-pound guy would drink as far as water is different. Of course, not the same. Not the same. But here's the real test. Just pee clear and you're good. 
So realizing, being self-aware, removing those and adding in good habits like drinking enough water, getting adequate sleep, working out whatever that looks like. Maybe it's yoga. Maybe it's really hitting the gym. Maybe it's lifting weights. Maybe it's some sort of cardio. Maybe it's yoga. Whatever that looks like to you, because we're all different, make sure you're moving your body, of course. Um, that is the good dopamine which we're going for. We're going for the good. We want to put good in, you're going to get good out. You put garbage in, well, of course the equation doesn't come out. You're going to get garbage out. It, simple. We all know this. I think where you're hung up is the actual, your purpose, your vision, your goal, and care enough about yourself. Like I said, I care more about you than you care about yourself. And that, you, you should care more. You should care more. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this was a benefit to you. If you're interested in actually real, really, really actually stopping this and getting into good habits and a good pattern, reach out to me. I'll hook you up. I'll put you in a special private group where we will do this together. We'll do this together. And, ooh, 60 hour fast is coming up, which I'm always excited about because rebooting my metabolism, I, yeah, it, it seems hard and it seems ungodly. Like, why would anybody not excuse me, not want to eat for 60 hours. I might die. No, you're not going to die. You're actually going to be just fine. And at the end of it all, you're going to give yourself a pat on the back. It's a boost to self-confidence. You've rebooted your metabolism. You're going to think clearer. You're going to be more motivated uh, because you've stuck through it and you've done something hard. And I highly encourage you to tackle the hard things in your life. That's all I got for you. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Reach out to me below. We'll fix this once and for all. And may the odds forever be in your favor.